Yo, what's going on guys? And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple health bar in Roblox Studio. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go into Starter GUI on the right and enter a screen GUI. You can call this whatever you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and call it health bar. And in health bar, we're going to go ahead and add a frame. This is going to be our background for our health bar. So I'm just going to name it BG and then move it uh, to wherever I want, wherever you want doesn't matter where you put it I'm just gonna put it down here and something like this looks fine and in here I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to be a red color and we can also add a UI corner and a UI stroke to this so UI corner I'm just gonna make the corner radius 0.2 uh, 0.2 comma 0 and then the stroke I'm gonna make the thickness 2 all right, and then inside of this background, we're going to add another frame. This frame will be called health display. And we're going to go ahead and go down to the size and size it to 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 like this so that it is the full size of the background. And as you can see, the corners on this uh, are not smooth like our background. So all you want to do for this is you want to add another UI corner into this health display and then you can set the corner radius to 0.2 so now that looks good and then we can go ahead and change the color of this to a green color like this so that looks good and then i'm going to go ahead and create a text label in the background and set the size to the max size just like the health display one comma zero comma one comma zero i'll name it title you can name it whatever you want doesn't matter but i'm just going to go ahead and make background transparency one uh, change the font to silk screen here uh, set text scaled and this will be my label we'll name it health or we'll put the text to help all right now in the health display frame we are going to insert a local script and delete the print function here and then we're going to get the local player here game dot players dot local player and then we're going to get the character which equals player dot character or player dot character added wait and then we need to get the humanoid which will equal character wait for child humanoid and then in humanoid we are going to get the health changed and connect that to a function and we are going to get the health here in the function and in here we're going to go script dot parent dot size equals udim2 dot new health divided by humanoid dot max health and then we are going to go comma zero comma one comma zero and that is it for the health display script and in the in the scene i'm going to go ahead and create a new part here and this part will just be for testing and look whenever the player touches it it'll do damage to the player so after you make your part you can go ahead and insert a script here and we'll just say script dot parent dot touched connect function it'll take in the hit so we'll go if hit and hit hit dot parent find for child humanoid so then we're going to go hit dot parent dot humanoid dot health equals hit dot parent dot humanoid dot health minus 10. So every time the player touches it, it'll take 10 health off of their HP. So we can just go ahead and test this. And in here it says health change is not a valid member of me. So if you did that, um, just make sure it says health changed. That's my bad, I misspelled that, but it should be fixed now. So if we go into here now, we can go ahead and touch this and see that the health bar goes down whenever we get hurt and it's regenerating now. So it goes down and if we die, then it stays red and it's all gone and then it comes back. All right, so that seems pretty good. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you would want to join my Roblox group, I have two games in there. Uh, you can check out the link in the description. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you.